हेलो एवरीवन हो ऑल आर डूइंग वेल इन टूडे सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट वर्ल्ड ओजोन डे व्हिच इज ऑब्जर्व एवरी ईयर ऑन सिक्सटीन ऑफ सेप्टेम्बर इन दिस सेशन वी विल सी द थीम हिस्ट्री सिग्निफिकेंस एंड ऑल द की फैक्ट्स एसोसिएटेड विद दिस डे इज ऑब्जर्वेंस विच विल बी यूजफुल फॉर योर एग्जाम्स वर्ल्ड ओजोन डे officially known as the international day for the preservation of the ozone layer is an annual observance held on 16th of september it commemorates the signing of the montreal protocol in the year 1987 which was a landmark international treaty aimed at phasing out the substances that deplete the ozone layer This day is a reminder of the importance of this protective shield and celebrates the global cooperation that has led to its ongoing recovery. As we all know, every national and international event is celebrated with a different theme every year. So this year the theme is from science to global action. Now why this theme? Because it highlights the crucial role of scientific discoveries in alerting the world to the threats like ozone depletion and also in guiding the collective action to protect our planet earth it also commemorates 40 years of action under the vienna convention and the montreal protocol celebrating the success of the global community in phasing out ozone depleting substances and setting the ozone layer on the path of recovery the ozone layer which is a region in the earth's stratosphere absorbs most of the sun's harmful ultraviolet rays which is also abbreviated as uv rays in the 1970s and 80s scientists discovered that human made chemicals particularly the chlorofluorocarbons were causing significant depletion of this layer leading to the formation of ozone holes mostly which are observed in the regions over antarctica in response to the formation of the ozone holes the international community came together to address the problem the result was the vienna convention for the protection of the ozone layer which was formed in the year 1985 and more importantly the montreal protocol on the substances that deplete the ozone layer which was established in 1987 this protocol committed nations to a phased reduction and eventual elimination of ozone depleting substances from a lifestyle since adoption of this treaties the montreal protocol has been universally ratified and is widely considered as one of the most successful environmental treaties thanks to this efforts the ozone layer is now on the path to recovery with the projections that it will return to the pre 1980s level by the middle of the 21st century the success of this global collaboration serves as an example of what can be achieved when the nation work together on environmental issues and thus it proves united we stand and divided we fall of course now let's see how this day is celebrated across the world educational programs and lectures are arranged in schools and communities poster making and slogan writing competitions are arranged in schools and colleges dissemination of information about the ozone friendly products is done discussions are arranged highlighting the link between ozone protection and climate change as we all know the major issue of global warming is nothing but the side effect caused by the depletion of ozone layer on this day also a special highlight is given to the release of cfc carbons in the atmosphere which is due to the reckless use of the vehicles or the refrigerators into our houses and hence promoting the responsible use of refrigeration and air conditioning is done 
Now let's see what is the science behind the awareness. It's quite the human nature that unless and until we know the exact reason for anything what we are doing, we won't give a hundred percent. And hence, it is very necessary to understand the reason or answer for every why. As we all know, due to the depletion in the ozone layer, there are various ozone holes which are allowing the harmful UV rays from the sun to enter directly onto the surface of the earth. And this harmful UV radiations are causing enormous issues on this planet earth. For example, there is an increased number of skin cancer patients and cataract patients. These harmful radiations along with being harmful to the human beings, they are also affecting the plants and marine life. The major issues faced by the planet earth like global warming, greenhouse effects and the extreme climate changes are nothing but the direct result of the depletion of ozone layer and hence it is very essential to take quick and major actions against the depletion. Now let's see what are the key pillars of awareness and what should be the actions that are expected in order to improve or protect the ozone layer. Firstly, we need to work upon the international collaboration. As we all know, since the adoption of Montreal Protocol, there have been collective efforts made by the world in order to reduce the CFC releasing products and also we have highlighted and tried to control various products that are causing the depletion of ozone layer. After that, we need to work on public education like explaining the ozone depleting substances to the public and thus raising an awareness. As we all know, until and unless a collective effort is made, we can't control the loss. Nextly, we need to highlight the link to the everyday product usage. We need to promote the eco-friendly alternatives instead of the harmful products being used. For any desirable result, we need individual as well as community actions. And thus, awareness should be done for responsible disposal of the waste. As well as, special efforts should be made for energy conservation. Every individual should support the environmental policies in order to protect our mother earth as well local initiatives should be taken and should act as a volunteer in order to observe the actions closely and thus guide everyone to reduce the use of harmful products. I would like to end this session with a beautiful quote. Sunlight makes life possible, but the ozone layer makes life as we know it possible. This quote beautifully encapsulates the critical role the ozone layer plays in sustaining life on our mother earth. It moves beyond a simple scientific fact and frames the ozone layer as a fundamental prerequisite for the thriving and complex ecosystems we see today. It highlights that while the sun provides the energy for the life, the ozone layer is the essential protective shield that allows that life to flourish without being destroyed by the harmful UV radiations. I hope now everyone is clear with the key facts associated with the observation of this day. On this day, let's take an oath to reduce the product's usage which release the harmful CFCs into the environment and thus try to protect or thus let's try to take a small step in order to protect a mother earth. Thank you for being connected.